Alright guys, it's that time. Last time I was here, I said that I was going to be making a video about products that I regret buying, and today is the day. We're doing it. Yeah. I have no rhyme or reason to the products I'm going to show you, and there's no particular order. I'm just going to pull stuff out of my Topshop bag, and we're just going to kind of go from there. So. Let's do it. My first product is a product from Tarte, and I actually love Tarte. It is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite brands, um, but I just didn't get along with this so well. It is the Cheek Stain in the color Loving. Now, I love the Cheek Stains. I have one that is in the color, I think it's in the color uh, maybe Glisten. I don't know. It's a peach color, and it's absolutely beautiful. So I wanted to get another one, and I got this color in Loving. Mm, I don't really like it. This is what it looks like. In, it just looks like something that like my grandmother would wear. It, it, I don't know. It's not anything fun to me at all. That's what it looks like. Um, it's okay on camera. It's all right on the hand, but I don't know. In real life, it just kind of looks really, really brown. And I didn't really mean to buy this color. I just really quickly picked it up at Sephora. I meant to get a different one. I think it's that was a little bit more pink and I ended up with this one and I think I might just give it to my mom um, because the color just isn't that exciting. Um, she might get along with it better than I have but I don't know. Just not a big fan of this color. The cheek stains in general are amazing though. I would highly, highly recommend them. They've kind of revolutionized the way that I wear blush. I don't even really wear powder blush anymore. Um, I only wear the cheek stains and it is because of these, this product but just not in this color. My next product is a product from Philosophy. And I got it around Christmas time. It is the Gingerbread Man um, Ginger Hot Salt Body Scrub. It looks like this. I was really excited when I bought this product because it smells really nice. Um, and this is what it looks like on the inside. It kind of looks just like kind of funky and brown. But um, it smells really good. It smells like gingerbread. I was just really excited to have this in the bath because I really like to do fun, luxurious bath stuff. I really like the smell of it. Um, it feel it felt really good kind of when I did the little like tester at the store um, But to be honest, I'm just really not impressed with philosophy products Sorry, I think that they do a really good job with packaging and I think the scents are really good and the concepts that they have are really really great But the actual products themselves just really are underwhelming to me um, the thing that I don't like about this is that when you use it, there's really no sort of payoff afterwards. You'd think after using like a salt or sugar scrub, your skin would feel really, really soft, or moisturized, but it doesn't. It just sort of washes off and then it's like you never even used it. I feel like if you're going to spend upwards, I think this was like $25 or something like that. If you're going to spend that much on a scrub, just go to Lush because the scrubs from Lush are amazing and after you use them, your skin feels really, really moisturized. Um, and you can tell that you've actually used something on your skin. Whereas this, I feel like is a little bit more of just a novelty item. It smells good, but it really just doesn't do anything for you. And for the price, it's just, it's just not worth it. The next product on my list of products I regret just really, really breaks my heart. I, I mean, I just feel kind of like I, I have to break up with this product. I do. I have to end it. I tried so hard to make it work. I really did. I, I felt like I just I had all these false promises. I was expecting too much and, and I just have been so let down and I just I, I think I have to call it quits. It is the OPI uh, Original Nail Envy. I, I know. I know. I know. Everybody loves this stuff, right? I just I didn't get along with it well at all. I've tried to give it, you know, enough time. I've been using this for probably since before Christmas, so now it's March. I have seen no no results whatsoever. If anything, my nails have worsened. They, have, they are the most flaky and brittle right now that they've been in probably two years. My nails started to feel really, really awful when I was, um, doing uh, the gel nails, so I stopped doing that because my nails started to flake. Um, so I haven't been doing that and they really have gotten a lot better. Since using this Nail Envy from OPI, they are so flaky and they are so brittle. I don't know if that has something to do with the weather because it's been winter time or what, but this nail strengthener just has not done it for me 
at all. Maybe I'm not using it correctly. I don't know. I mean, I do my nails every couple of days, so I'll probably change my nail color like twice a week, and I will put this on before I do my nails. Am I supposed to use this like without a t without anything else? Like. Do I just put this on? Like, do I need to put it on every day? I, I, really, I really don't know. I mean, like, I'm, I'm willing to revisit this relationship. I really am. I'm, I'm willing, you know, to, to make this work. You know, maybe, maybe we just need, like, to DTR or something. I, I don't know. I, I'm willing to make this work if you are, okay? <sighs> so, so sad. My next product is the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argon Oil. Um, this product itself isn't a bad product whatsoever. I think that Argon Oil is really, really great. I originally purchased this because um, I was getting my makeup done and I told the makeup artist that I had really, really dry eyelids. And she told me to, to go pick up this product. Um, she said that it would help with my dry eyelids. And the thing about this is it's, it's ridiculously overpriced. I think this tiny little bottle, which is 15 mil, was 14 or 15 dollars, and that's just ridiculous. I think that the 100 mil bottle is like 40 bucks or something like that, and the truth is you can get argon oil for a lot cheaper. You don't need to go and spend upwards of 40 dollars on a bottle from the Josie Maron line. There's just really no reason. So for the money, this is definitely not worth it. Go to CVS and spend a dollar and go get a thing of Vaseline. Um, I mean, obviously the argon oil is probably better for you than petroleum jelly, but you can find it cheaper. You don't need to go and waste your money because of the brand. Sorry. The rest of the products are all lip products. I am constantly buying new lip products from the drugstore. Um, I probably do it every single time I go into a CVS or a Rite Aid or a Target. I just, I just go and pick up a lipstick. I know I'm obsessive and it's probably a problem, but I do it, so whatever. The first product is from Maybelline and it is in the color number 15, Born With It, and it is from their color sensational range. The color is sort of this like peachy, pinky, really pretty rose color. The color itself is really, really pretty. It just, it's, I don't know, it's like stale. It's it smells like cheap, cheap lipstick. Um, it's just got that like, you know what I mean? Like that cheap lipstick smell. Um, it kind of has like a sunscreeny smell to it. I think that they must have tried to put like coconut or something in here, but it just, just doesn't work. It smells very waxy, very cheap. It's very dry on the lips. It doesn't feel good. It's got a little bit of a luster or shimmer to it too, so it doesn't go on creamy at all. It's very, very drying. The color's nice, but the formulation, bleh. The next product is from e.l.f., and it is one of their matte lip colors in natural, and it looks like this. e.l.f. is really great because they're so cheap. Their products are like a couple bucks. Um, this is what the color looks like. Again, it is sort of this like mauve rosy, pink color. My issue with this is that it's a matte, so it's very, very drying. Um, it just feels like you're putting like dry, sticky paste on your lips. Um, maybe with like a gloss it might work, but I just, I'm not a big fan of the matte trend. Um, just doesn't feel good at all. Your lips feel really, really, really dried out, and they feel, it almost makes my lips feel chapped when I use this. Um, so I know it was only a dollar, but I probably wouldn't purchase it again. My last two products are from Rimmel, and they are part of the Kate Moss lipstick collection. I was really, really excited about these. I love the packaging because they say Kate on them, and that's my name, so I was pretty stoked. And I think the colors are beautiful too. Um, this is the first one. It's this really, really pretty, like pinky coral color. The next one is in color 11, and it is this really beautiful, rich, velvety red color. And I absolutely loved it when I saw it. My issue with these is that they just feel cheap. Um, again, they've got that really fake smell, which just, I can't stand when it comes to lipsticks. If it smells like chalky and like waxy, I just, I'm automatically turned off to it. Um, and that's kind of how these are. 
The application is okay. They are pretty creamy. Um, it's just the smell. They just, I can't, I can't do it. Like put some, put a nice scent to it. Ugh. So I was kind of disappointed with these because I think the whole concept is adorable. I love the packaging a lot. The colors are amazing. The whole color range I think is really, really great. I just smell, sorry. So those are the products I regret buying. I hope you guys maybe found that a little bit helpful. Um, subscribe to my channel, that would be so awesome. I will put my link to my blog in the down bar, imcatgolden.com, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hello. It's in the color, uh, I don't know, nine or six or 90 or six. Six or 90. is just annoying because it doesn't stay down. Mm -hmm. I can't use my brain today. Ah!